Welcome to our new video. Windows 10 will be supported until 2025, but still many decent PCs and laptops running it are not eligible for upgrading to Windows 11. In this video we'll show you how you can completely switch your machine to a user-friendly and popular Linux-based operating system Ubuntu and get up-to-date technologies for free. Stay tuned! But first, attention please! Before you do anything else, you must back up your data on a USB hard disk or flash drive, as we did with our documents folder for instance. This is necessary because the procedure of switching to Linux means you will have to erase your disk and you might lose all of your data. So, copy all the contents of your home folder to an external hard drive or USB flash drive. The next thing you have to do is to prepare an installation media. For that purpose, you need an empty USB flash drive, then the downloaded Ubuntu installation file, the so-called ISO file, and a program such as UnetBootin or Rufus. In UnetBootin's main window, all you need to do is to select the downloaded Ubuntu ISO file and then choose the appropriate drive for the installation media. Click the OK button and leave the unit booting to create the installation USB media. The process will take some time, as several minutes, depending on your machine and the speed of your USB flash drive. Now, the next step is to turn on your machine that you wish to switch to Linux and plug in the USB installation media. Windows will automatically start your USB flash drive, but do not click anything, just ignore it. Close the window and now restart your system. While your machine is rebooting, you need to press the buttons needed to enter BIOS. The key combination is different for different computer brands, and you can easily find yours by Google searching your laptop type. Most modern computers support UEFI, and you need to choose to boot from the EFI USB device. Then you'll choose the option to try or install Ubuntu. Since Linux has drivers incorporated into the system, your machine should be automatically recognized. At least, that was the case with ours. Ubuntu offers the option to install the system straight away, but we'll choose the option to try it first, to make sure everything works fine. Now we are in the live mode and we'll see if there are any issues like unsupported Wi-Fi or video card, for instance, and so on. Everything seems to be alright and we decide to install Ubuntu. The next step is to double-click the Install Ubuntu icon on the desktop and the process can begin. The first thing is to choose your language and then the keyboard layout. We'll go with the normal installation and we choose to install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats. Although there is an option to resize partitions by yourself, if you are about to replace your Windows install with Linux, you should choose the option to erase the disk and install Ubuntu. The system will offer a review of your choices and you should continue at this point. 
Now you need to choose your location and provide your username and your administrative password. OK, now sit and wait until the installation process is finished. It lasts about 5 minutes or so. Finally, the system offers the option to continue testing or to restart. The installation process is over. At this point, you need to reboot your machine and remove the USB installation media. The Ubuntu's login screen will appear. Here, you'll enter your administrative password and you'll be presented with freshly installed Ubuntu 22.04, the very latest long-term support release of the very popular and beginner-friendly Linux distribution. What to do next and how to manage your new operating system, you can easily find loads of material online. You'll definitely find any question you might ask about Ubuntu. We hope you've liked the video. Is there anything that you would do differently? Tell us in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.